about uh, some projects first, uh, and you can follow along with your summary there, and uh, I'll abbreviate some of this. But for Project Oakwood, that was our food production project. We understand that project is now on hold. That's a project we have worked with the Georgia Department of Economic Development. So uh, we did uh, recently, uh, before the first of the year, provide some additional information to the prospect to help them when they decide to go forward uh, if they move this project off of an old status. Uh, project AIR, which is a new project uh, that really began with a site visit. Uh, we completed that uh, site visit with uh, members of the site selection team. It's an aviation-related project looking for own airport locations in Georgia for aircraft manufacturing. Uh, since their visit, we have uh, done some additional work to provide additional information to them and to link them up with some local existing industry that may have some opportunities to partner with them as they go forward. So we're excited about that project. Uh, with regards to existing industry, you can see the e existing industry visit schedule there. Of course, we're incorporating some visits that we did in November, December, January. As always with those visits, we're looking for opportunities for expansion, job creation, business-to-business -business connections or opportunities with those businesses, and then to identify any issues or concerns that they have that we might work to, uh, uh, to help them resolve, to help them move forward. A uh, couple of things on some existing industry expansions. Uh, we'll start with uh, Fussell Tire and Service. That's our logistics distribution service and support project. It is still in, pro in progress, although uh, we're just about at completion of that project. You see the schematic for the site plan there. Uh, these are some recent photos. These were actually taken this morning that I wanted to share with you. That's looking across St. Augustine Road at the front of the building. Uh, so you can see that their signage is all already up. Uh, these are some shots looking from interior to the park. So you can see the full layout uh, of the building there. Uh, and again, uh, this is a shot which just gives you an opportunity to take a look at some of the additional landscape that we had asked the prospect to make alongside St. Augustine Road on the St. Augustine frontage there, and you can see some of that there. Uh, completion of the project was slowed just a little because of the recent rains that we've had. It really slowed down the installation of the landscape and there is a small ramp that's being built uh, on the back side of this building. We would anticipate uh, that being completed by the end of this month. We're working towards a ribbon cutting ceremony around the 15th of February because the business is looking for a grand opening that they would like to do around the 6th of March. Very nice project. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at that site recently, take a look at it. It, it really looks good. Express Scripts, uh, just an update there. That project now is essentially complete for the phase that we were most recently working in. That brought us about 175 additional customer service representatives. Uh, the hiring and the training for that second session was completed in December. Uh, we are now already in preliminary planning to bring a third hiring session and training session back, working with our partner, the Georgia Department of Labor. That's scheduled to begin in May of 2015, and again, would run through about December. I'm not sure of the projected numbers for that. But uh, again, we had good success with that. Project Coal is our food production and processing project. Um, that project is progressing nicely. Our preliminary engineering assessments have done. Construction plans have been completed. A general contractor has been hired. Plans are now in front of the city of Aldosta for plan review and permitting for moving forward with that project on the existing industry's location. Uh, Mr. Gupton and I, along with Stan, have been working on the economic development agreement and the indenture of lease that an economic development incentive package that would support that project. Uh, the next project would be Bimbo Bakeries. I want to show you a couple of photos uh, and a site plan for uh, the Bimbo Bakery's food logistics distribution project that's in the Hayhira Business Park. You'll be familiar with this building and site plan. 
the project is essentially complete. It's a very nice looking building. These, uh, these photos were taken this morning, so you can see some front views uh, and some side views. Very nice landscaping has been completed there. And just a couple more shots of the building. Um, finalizing certificate of occupancy. Uh, looking for a ribbon cutting ceremony somewhere between the 1st of February and the middle of February. Uh, so if you have a chance and you're up in the Hayhara area, uh, take a run through the uh, Hayhara Business Park and, and take a look at that book. Uh, Project White Cadillac. You know that was a food logistics distribution project. Uh, that project is now on hold. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll see where we're able to go with that project in the next three or four months. Um, we're not saying that project is, uh, is no longer active, but it's just in an, an on hold status for the time being. And then finally, uh, Project Greensleeve, that's another food logistics distribution uh, project. Uh, it is in progress. We have a location in a grad certified business park. We've got site selection, preliminary civil engineering work complete. We've got a conceptual plan. We've built an economic development incentive package. And we're looking forward to bring that economic development incentive package to uh, the, the company principals, we believe, this week. Uh, they had some other work that they had to complete before we could come back and, and start that discussion again. Uh, but that project is on schedule, and we're excited about that, uh, that project. Um, in terms of community business and industry partnership, we are now working on the 2015 Georgia Logistics Summit. We're going to amp up what we're doing there uh, this year. Uh, we've got uh, three logistics distribution companies that have partnered with us. We'll do what's called a premium sponsorship. We'll have a table uh, at the Logistics Summit. And we'll be actively marketing uh, South Georgia and those logistics distribution partners as a logistics distribution hub uh, for South Georgia. Uh, we're looking for that to occur March the 31st through about April the 1st. And then finally, uh, you would be able to see uh, here where we stand with regards to our industrial park acreage updates. And that includes the projects that we have in place. That concludes my report, unless you have any questions, Mr. Chair. Yeah, I have a comment, Alan. As I <clears throat> look at the Express Scripts project, I think which came to us in 2013, we worked on roughly half in 2013, the balance in 2014. Is, that the, is it that the community just doesn't get the message as to the value of those jobs 310 brand new jobs in this area during a very challenging economic period. Um, is, is, does this kind of project fly on the radar or is the public's perception that, you know, it's not that big of a deal simply because we don't have infrastructure to show off this kind of project? Well, we do talk about that project and we do talk about... No, we do. I understand. Yeah. We, we've talked about it. I, I'm, I'm just kind of measure, trying to measure how is it that the public perceives these jobs here? Well, I think there is some appreciation in the community about the value of the jobs uh, from the standpoint of not only what you mentioned, but the starting wage and a full health care or benefits package that comes with those jobs. Um, Andrea, you might have uh, some I more think, You know, it's kind of one of those projects where, you know, we show you built bricks and mortar like we do with Bustle Tire. We update you. We show you pictures on that. The same with Bimbo Bakery. So I do think there is some of, you know, it's not seen. So therefore, there's not the express scripts, logo, building, sign, so that everybody rides by it. So it kind of that out of sight, out of mind. But um, we talk about it as much as we can. We talk about it um, with the different visits that mm -hmm. I've had. Talk a lot about express scripts. And, and I can tell you from the Express Scripts perspective, they found this to be a very successful community to recruit in sure. and to draw talent from. And I know that, that, that they talk about it. So I, I'm, I'm sure that uh, you know there are things that we could do to make sure that we're better getting that message out. But those are valuable jobs for our community. Sure, sure. Absolutely. And 
I'll say too, it, it's <coughs> good to see the Fussell Tire building. You know, we we hash that out and amongst ourselves with, with regard to the covenants on the park and different things to come to a workable solution for everybody. And um, and here's the fruition of it. And um, you know, it was an existing industry that decided to stay local and expand. And it's really good to see that. Um, you know, the fruits of a lot of people's efforts. Thank you, Alan. Um, Andrea? Okay. It took a long time, too. It wasn't one of those that just... No, I'll it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Um, <laughs> my turn. Uh, you don't have a report. We can move on. Yeah, we'll move on. Sorry about that.